Okay, I almost never did this video this year. I'm running out of time. The videos are backing up. I have so many videos that, that are, uh, have to be done that I almost didn't get this in, but I promise so many people the New Wave Pro Infrared Oven is the number one most requested product review to be done in the past three years. And I just never wanted to drop 100 bucks on this thing. I got an oven, I got a convent, I just don't need this. But it's so important to you guys. So I spent the money and I have it. And check this out. It claims to air fry, barbecue, roast, grill, bake, broil, dehydrate, and steam. It does all that. So we're gonna do one thing today, the one thing it always claims to do. And then next year, I'm gonna bring this out again. I'll do probably another part two or part two and three. But let's try this right now. It claims, look at this, a frozen turkey I'm putting in there. That thing's way frozen. This thing's frozen solid. I just pulled it out of the freezer. It claims you can put it right in and it'll cook it. And I think it's like 14 minutes a pound. I don't know. I'm going to get it all set up. I'm going to get the frozen turkey inside it. We're going to take a look and we're going to cook a frozen turkey to done. We're going to let it set and see how juicy it gets. I'm going to put this in here and then what's going to happen is this is frozen. So I can't get the giblets out yet. So we put it breast side down, cook it for half the time, then go in there carefully with some gloves and we're going to flip the bird we're going to season the bird and we're going to pull the giblets out. Okay. So let me get the turkey in there and I'll show you what it looks like. But I have done all my homework and that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. If this can cook a frozen turkey in less than three and a half hours from rock hard to ready to eat, this can cook anything. All right, I'm gonna put the bird in here like that. Breast side down, right? Breast side down. Yep, breast side down. Cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Put the dome over it. Put the motor on top, the cooking unit. I'm gonna plug it in. Whoops, sorry. Plug it in, there we go. Okay, here we go. Power level on high. Cooking time is three hours in 25 minutes and then start. Okay, now I think you can see that it's starting to melt quickly. So we're gonna leave this alone right now. And there is your shot. We're going to show you what it looks like halfway through. Yeah, it's still a little warm. I'm gonna put it on its top. There we go. Take this off gently. Put it over here. Try to get this off too. Right. Really juicy and moist. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is flip it and just season it. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna sit here and hit it one more time. Some seasoning. Okay, as you can see, my thermometer fits in there perfectly. Let's put this on top of that. Put the power on high. And we're gonna do cook time. One, three, zero. And start. There we go. Okay, so not only are we done, but we are ahead of schedule. I had three minutes left, I had to turn it off. The turkey reached temperature before the time allotted. How awesome is that? All right, I'm gonna make a quick observation while this is cooling. This is what I've seen so far. The top is very dark, almost, almost burnt. I would say it burned a little bit right on top here. Darker than I like. Now the side here isn't as brown as I like, but I mean, the heat was coming from the top down, so I get it, and I did flip it. And I will tell you this, inside here, you can't see it right now, in the cavity, it's full of liquid, uh, full of juice, very moist. I expect this to be really, really good. I kinda wish we'd had more golden brown on the outside, same on this side here. 
but we're gonna give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna carve into it and we're gonna give it a taste. Now I was just gonna carve this, but this thing's so wet. I just wanna show you, look at this. Can you see how wet my hands are? It's like moist. It just, look at it. Look how tender that is. That is just huge. Unbelievably wet. Okay, so I wanna be totally honest with you. I wanna show you the meat. This is the breast meat. It's super wet. Look at that. Look at that. If I just push down on it, juice just comes gushing out. Came out perfect. Let me see this one. This one. Look how wet it is. Look at that. It's, it's just, it's filling up the plate with juice. That's amazing. Look, the wings. There's the wing meat. Came out perfect. Wings look beautiful. Here's my only concern. And this, this leg thigh combo came out okay, but if you flip it over, I have a little bit of redness in here. So here's what I'm telling you. I am not knocking this product. I am blown away today. But I gotta be totally honest with you. Leave it in a little extra, put your thermometer, put your thermometer in the thigh, not in the, in the breast meat. Breast meat's gonna get cooked, but we wanna make sure this thigh meat gets cooked. This has to be 180. So go buy the thigh meat if you use the new wave oven, okay? That's my only tip. I'm gonna zap this a little bit, it'll cook it right up. Same thing on this one, same thing. See, look, just a little bit, didn't get cooked right in the center. This is a complete success, it has blown my mind. It cooked in three and a half hours from solid frozen turkey to done. The little pinkness is my fault, has nothing to do with this machine. It did the job it's supposed to. Now, one of the downfalls is it's, it's kind of hard to clean, so be ready. There's a little bit of a cleanup job on the machine itself. But next year, I think I'm gonna try dehydrating some uh, beef jerky. We're gonna try some veggies in here. There's a lot of things I can do with this thing. But for right now, this is deemed a success. If you have money left over after Christmas, I uh, recommend you getting this. And there's a link down below if you wanna price it out and see what Amazon's got it going for. All right, you guys, that's it. Another successful product review. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.